hi guys it's your girl the real i'm okay and you're welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time of being here don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications and comment while you're watching this video and if this is not your first time you already know the vibes on today's video i'll be taking you all on a part two of the university of lagos store hostels edition so if you haven't seen the part one of the university of lagos store i'd advise that you watch it because you won't be able to relate to the places i'll be mentioning in this video but if you have already seen the part one then you're in for a ride don't forget to like subscribe and turn on post notifications as i take you on a tour around the university of first choice and the nation's pride stay with me My first stop is the Faculty of Education. If you don't know how to locate the Faculty of Education, then you might have to watch the part one of the University of Lagos store which I made and uploaded on my channel. So yeah, the Faculty of Education, there are a total of four hostels located in the faculty. Not exactly in the faculty, but in its environs. So aside from this hostel towards my right, there is a new hostel. There are four hostels. One is a private hostel, while the other three are public hostels. I don't know if that's the proper way to address them, but they are way cheaper. So the first hostel I'm going to be seeing here is El Kanemi. El Kanemi is one of the private hostels. It's actually the newest hostel currently in the University of Lagos. It is just ahead of me. This is the El Kanemi hostel. And like I said earlier, it is a private hostel. It is for both guys and girls. It has a male block and a female block. They have a four-man room option and a one-man room option. Each room has a bathroom to itself, whilst a couple of rooms share kitchen. Um, for the four-man room, each person pays about 400000 while for the one-man room, they pay about 550000 It's pretty comfortable. They have constant light and water supply. And unlike every other hostel in the University of Lagos, they treat them like first-class citizens. <laughs> the next stop after El Kanami Hostel is Amina Hall. Just here to my right is Amina Hall or Amina Hostel. It is a female hostel. It has a number of blocks. Their rooms range from two-man room to about 10-man room so it's one of the public hostels in court of the university of lagos it's pretty chilled um like every other hostel it, it's used to cost 25k but due to the increment in school fees i think it's going to be costing about 43k or 50k i don't know the specific amount so this is what the entrance looks like and that's pretty much it Just adjacent Amina Hall is Kofu Adimola Hall or Kofu Adimola Hostel. So this is what it looks like behind the tree, the building behind the tree. That's the entrance, the gates in front of me. Um, Kofu Hall is also a female hostel and it is standard eight-man room. Every room is eight-man room. This is what the entrance looks like. And just like every other public hostel in the university, each room just have bunk beds and lockers so they have to share a bathroom with other rooms on their wing and the kitchen just beside kofa de mola hall is Bilbaco hall and uh, yeah the outward look is not really given but this is what it looks like Bilbaco is also standard it's man room and it is a male hostel this is what the entrance looks like my next stop is DLI. Once again, if you don't know how to locate DLI, then you should watch the part one of the Unilac tour. A link to the video is in my description box. So yeah, at DLI, we have two hostels. One is private, while the other is a public hostel. Come with me. The 
the two hostels here are just for females the first one is honors which is just right ahead of me it is a public hostel and it costs the normal price school hostel cost and just beside it is a canteen for you to get stuff it's a female hostel and it is eight man room standard just beside it is ELWS hostel in like women's society female hostel it is a private hostel and it has room options from one man room to eight man room one man room costs about 600k while eight man room costs about 300k next stop is the popular new hall so in new hall we have a total of five hostels three female hostels and two male hostels let's go in the first hostel you'd see when you enter through this entrance is Makama Bida Hall. Makama Bida Hall is a female hostel and just beside it at the right is the Shodendi Hall. Shodendi Hall is a semi-private hostel. At the left of Makama Hall is Fagunwa Hostel and beside Fagunwa Hostel is MTH, Madame Tsunumbo Hall. Every hostel in New Hall is standard for my room. And like I said, MTH, Fagunwa, and Makama are public hostels in quotes. They pay the regular price that other hostels pay. The rooms in each wing share a bathroom and a toilet. Now let's go to Shoda in the hall. Shoda in the is a semi private hostel um, in the sense that they are like every other hostel, it's just that it's more comfortable. It's also standard for my room. They have a obligatory hostel fee of about 150k but the rooms are already renovated and they are more developed than the other hostels besides your day in the hall is any joko hall any joko hall is also a male hostel and is standard for my room like every other hostel in new hall any joko is also a public hostel this is what new hall looks like from the other entrance my next and last stop is campus at campus, the first hostel you see just beside the car park is Moremi Hall. The very, very popular Moremi Hall. If you're not a student of Yunlag, you've probably have heard of Moremi Hall. So Moremi Hall is a female hostel. It has room options of two-man room to ten-man room. It's the biggest female hostel and the most popular female hostel. It's a public hostel and it costs the same price like every other public hostel in the university. At the other side of the campus bus stop park is the Marere Hall or Marere Hostel. Marere Hostel is a male hostel and it has just four man room and six man room. It's a public hostel and it costs the same price like every other public hostel in the university. Down the campus road after the GC and Zenith Bank is the King Jaja Hostel. Just like Morimi, King Jaja Hall is the most popular male hostel and the biggest male hostel. It has six man room, eight man room, and ten man room. Jaja Hall is a public hostel and each wing has toilet and bathroom to share. Oh, one more thing. Most male hostels don't have a kitchenette. I don't know why that is. I don't know. So that brings me to the end of the tour around the University of Lagos hostel edition. Now, let's see what students have to say about the hostels. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I'm with Tumi. And what year are you? I'm in year three. What faculty are you? Science. Have you stayed in the hostel like for your three years? Yes. Okay, so in your opinion, which hostel is the best for females? For females, I think more or MTH. Okay, which one is the worst? Um, Honors oh, in capital <laughs> letters. Please. All right, thank you. Hi. Hi. Is what's your name? Okay. What faculty are you? Engineering. What year? Year four. All right. Okay. So, in your opinion, which hostel is the worst main hostel? Behind me. <laughs> okay. Say the name. My. Okay. So, which hostel is the best in your opinion? Yes. For me. As far as I'm concerned, it's Bilbao. But I'm not going to shoot anything yet, so I have to ask you. Alright, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. Hi. Hello. What's your name? I'm Abela. Okay, what in faculty are you in? Science. What year? Okay, so in your opinion, which male hostel is the worst? 
Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> then which hostel do you think is the best? Uh-uh. Okay. Thank you for the time. Okay. Hi. What's your name? Yeah, the inside is definitely.